Hey, urology, I got a patient with a high PSA. It's probably cancer. You sure about that, Phil? I'm an intern. I'm not sure about anything. Did you get a prostate MRI? Uh, no. Was I supposed to? Using PSA levels alone often leads to a diagnosis of prostate cancer that is not a threat to the patient's life. Uh, okay. Life-threatening prostate cancer is more likely to cause abnormalities seen on MRI. There was a recent trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine on this. Is something wrong? No, I'm just not used to a surgeon saying so many words to me. Hey, radiology. Yeah, what's up? I'm telling Phil about the trial. Ugh, yeah. We randomized men with a PSA of three or higher to receive either a systematic biopsy or an MRI-targeted biopsy of suspicious lesions only. So many prostates. The primary outcome was detection of clinically insignificant prostate cancer. There are just so many more interesting parts of the body. After a median follow-up of nearly four years, the risk of detecting clinically insignificant prostate cancer was much lower in the MRI-targeted biopsy group. Can I go now? So MRI could be helpful in eliminating a bunch of prostate cancer diagnoses that are not a threat to the patient's life. Yeah, but the problem is you need access to high quality MRI. Oh, do we have high quality MRI here? No, this hospital has a negative three Tesla MRI. Surprisingly, the MRIs done in this trial were done at a facility about two hours south of here. Some gas station run by a uh, Texaco Mike. Yeah, I heard about him. The images were unbelievable. It was like I was inside the prostate.